all right what's going on guys it's your boy turbite reacts here and i am back with another reaction here somebody sent me this video uh, one of my friends sent me this video. It's like dude you have to react to this guy he's so funny never heard of this guy his name is um his channel is, i guess it's his name daquan um yeah i think so let me check yeah daquan wiltshire he said check him out man dude loves anime um loves anime there's a lot of anime he, he was just telling me about him so there's a lot of animes that you know he's that the popular ones that he's, he's a huge dragon ball fan and there's a lot of animes that like his subscribers recommend to him and he's just getting into them like one piece and you know my hero academia um hunter hunter and all of these other animes that i need to get to too so um somebody i don't know what happened this video is titled anime is just a cartoon and for kids so i want to hear what his thoughts are because i know if you love anime you don't want to hear nobody say that this thing is a cartoon okay so let's just jump into this hear what daquan has to say boom all right, listen up, y'all. If you've been following me for a little bit, then you know I'm a man of the fans. So I like reading my DMs. So scroll through oh, my DMs DM. today. And one just so happened to catch my attention from this woman. And the DM reads, Hey, Daquan, first and <laughs> foremost, I'd like to say you're hilarious. Thanks, by the way. Love the content, but I wish you would make more videos about real situations instead of those cartoons. <laughs> oh my! Cartoons, just cartoons but right. He just transformed into Naruto. <laughs> now he from the Hidden Leaf. He, he's like, yo, let's go to the Hidden Leaf real quick. <laughs> Let me finish reading the DM. Then she says, <laughs> "I have a hard time understanding how you even watch that." Weird shit. <laughs> what? Like, bitch, you don't fuck do you think you talking to? First of all, you got nerd disrespect. Wait, anime, he but got the cartoon. Ball they were saying weird shit. Like, I'm not even finished. <laughs> then she says, "I thought that shit was for kids, anyways." <laughs> no. Tell you I fucked up. You got not only me, but the entire anime community. You say anime is just a cartoon. <laughs> it's weird shit. Oh, and just for kids? Hold on a second. <laughs> they go on, calm down, bro. Calm down, man. Look at this outfit, man. Look at this outfit, bro. This dude just turned into he just went Super Saiyan Gear 4 the freaking and he got a Naruto headband on. Come on, bro. That's a real, real anime fan right there. Let's go back a little bit. I hey, anime community. You say anime is just a cartoon. It's weird shit. And just for kids? Okay, this goes out to every single person out there that thinks that anime is just a cartoon and for kids. Go watch it yourself. I know y'all thought I was about to say go fuck yourself. Y'all can go fuck yourselves too, but go watch <laughs> it and go see for yourself. For anime real. Anime is for kids. For real. Do y'all not realize how many niggas be dying in anime? How the fuck is this shit for exactly. kids? Exactly. Bruh, I tried to get my son to watch anime with me, right? We over there watching The Seven Deadly Sins, one of my favorite parts. When Eskinoa got the nigga gallon up out of here, right? Eskinoa get him up out of here. Boom. Well, I haven't watched Seven that Deadly Sins. That is the sin of pride. I'm expecting my son to jump over with me talking about facts, nigga. Fuck that nigga. He gonna say, Daddy, I don't like seeing people get killed. I'm like, okay, what the fuck you want to watch then? Paw Patrol. All right, bet. <laughs> I turn into Paw Patrol, right in the middle of the shit. I cut the shit off. He was like, why? And I was like, Psh. and that is the center of being a little bitch. Nigga, what the fuck you mean you don't want to watch anime? You know why you don't want to watch anime? Because anime is for kids. I feel like most of the people that say that anime is for kids didn't grow up watching anime. Because, like, if you grew True, up watching it, then probably. you were heavily influenced by it. And it always tells. Like, heavily. With me. Like, I felt like I'd want my son to grow up and be there for the thing the thing the thing about it is like for me for me i got into anime in my late teens like late teens so i didn't grow up on anime yes i watched cartoons um back in the like before that earlier in the age but i never really watched anything animated like 
throughout my like my early teens um and towards till probably like I was 70 18 I started watching anime so when it co when it comes on to like I stopped watching cartoons like you know your Tom and Jerry your Pink Panther um stuff that you know what I'm saying like if it's not like beauty um beauty and the beast like those Disney movies like if it's just regular like TV cartoons like it was like back in the day it was like Power Rangers and stuff like that that I watched but those aren't but Power Rangers is not even a cartoon you know what I'm saying cuz it's not animated you get what I'm saying so when it comes on to you know what he's saying about you got um you got to grow up with it even if you start watching it now you could still get into anime. There's so many grown people. I've seen 40, 50 year old just started watching anime and they, they're pretty much like addicted to it now. So it's not because you are on the outside. I think if you do watch it, you get what the appeal is about. As, I, as I've just basically just watched a video upon the appeal of anime. So it's crazy. It's, it's, it's just absolutely crazy when I hear, I go nuts when I hear people say, that. I'm like, do you watch anime? They're like, no, I don't watch anime. Cartoons are for kids. And I, sometimes I want to go off on them, but I just simply suggest to them, just go watch, just go watch one and enjoy. And don't just pick anyone. If you want me to make recommendations, I can make recommendations. You know, sometimes I tell them Dragon Ball or I tell them Naruto. You get what I'm saying? Something that's, you know, a little bit more fresh, a little bit more current. Um, cause you can't tell them anything classic cause sometimes they're not classic anime is, you know, it, it, back in the day, it used to be a little bit more brutal back in the day when it comes down to anime. So you want to ease them in a bit, something that makes them feel happy, you know, watching Naruto in dubbed, you know, believe it and all of this other stuff will more than likely get you a little bit more ease them into anime rather than, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's to me. It's just a huge misconception. Just a huge me. Let, let's hear Daquan out. For his kids. And because he never watched anime, he'll never see what an anime dad's like. But with me, I feel like I'm always going to be there for him. But like, if I got to go to the hunter exams, you know what I'm saying? I'm out, nigga. Like, fuck you, man, bro. <laughs> if I want to pursue my dream of being a hunter, if I want to, you know what I'm saying, fight niggas in the galaxy and shit like that, if I want to do this shit, I'm going. Fuck this little nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can train myself. <laughs> Call the nigga Piccolo real quick. Train this little nigga. You feel me? Really? Nah, but that ass, though, anime is definitely not for kids. Like, bro, niggas be dying gruesome ass deaths and that shit. Like, they be getting their whole body split in half, mm -hmm. heads chopped off, body parts cut off and shit. Niggas be sewing their own shits back on. Niggas be. <sighs> niggas be wildin'. I give y'all the weird thing, all right? You know what I'm saying? I give y'all the weird one because I just had to think about it. Niggas do be wild in the anime. Like, Ahsoka, <laughs> nigga like 12-year-olds. And then, and then, oh, Goblin really? Slayer, like the second episode, the bitch got raped by goblins. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, I, I give y'all the whole weird thing. But about this shit being for kids? For all of the people that say that anime is just a cartoon and it's for kids, have you ever thought about how a cartoon compares to anime like say for instance like all the old cartoons i used to watch let's say looney tunes for instance okay? looney tunes bugs bunny daffy duck elmer fudd elmer fudd used to shoot the shit out of this nigga daffy duck shot True. his whole beak off at one point still ain't kill him bro i watched baki this nigga i heard about baki nigga, too put Somebody his mouth to his ears and blew his whole fucking brains out how does that compare to any cartoon wow. and don't get it twisted and just think that it's not for kids just because of the violence no it's not for kids because adults need to watch this shit like bro it's so much shit that anime can teach you yeah like naruto yeah he taught me to never give up and always yep. pursue your dreams and if you keep yelling believe it then it's gonna happen not to the fairy tale <laughs> he taught me the importance and power of friendship and plot armor. Go <laughs> Garp, Monkey D, Dragon. They all taught me that it is perfectly fine if other motherfuckers raise your kids. You little <laughs> niggas will be straight. Gone Freaks taught me to never be that motherfucking dumb. Like, nigga, ain't no way in hell I'm 12 years old finna put in all that work to find my dad. Like, nigga, what the fuck? You don't fuck with me or something? Bruh, I'm taking your ass to Maury. Nigga, because if I can't find you, I know one of the motherfucking cameramen can. Nah, but on a serious <laughs> note, anime can 
and will teach you a lot about friendship, about loyalty, yep. about very true. pedophilia. Cause like yeah. niggas be tripping in anime sometimes, but like, yo, but it's so much other stuff to look at. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll teach you about equality, about how not to judge people, about how to treat people better, how to just be a better person in general. So that's what y'all need to learn to take away from anime. You know what I'm saying? Instead of y'all calling it just a cartoon or telling us it's for kids or it's weird, make sure you actually watch it. Now, with all of that being said, if you're going to Command Con this weekend, make sure you come to my panel on end. Saturday at five o'clock. I want to see every single one of y'all there. I'm signing an autograph. All right, I think that's the end of the rant. <laughs> yeah, so. You guys already know what my stance is um, about this stuff. It's just a very funny dude. If you guys see know any more of his really funny videos, like send me the link. Um, I would appreciate that. Just put it in the comment section, man. I would love to react to more of his videos if you got any more really funny ones. Um, so this is cra This is crazy because I literally just had this conversation like, uh, sometime last week with someone where they were calling anime cartoons um you know so it, it it's just you know i, I literally like 90 percent of the people that i work with in my business they watch anime so and i'm talking about like from the age varies because i work with people who are 50 60 years old all the way down to people who are just 18 years old so it varies and i said 90 percent of those people they watch anime which is crazy because back in the day couldn't really find anime fans here you know what i'm saying it, it's like it's it's like a treasure when you bump into someone and you're like hey you watching naruto and they'll be like yeah rather than what's that you know what I'm saying? So it's it's changed dramatically. I would say in the last ten to fifteen years, it is it has changed a lot when it comes on to just being in America. I mean, I'm I'm Jamaican, and I didn't even know because when I came here, I don't think anybody in Jamaica was watching anime. Um, maybe not a lot, because when I when I migrated to to the U.S. And when when I came here when I came here to the U.S., literally nobody that I knew was watching anime. I didn't. I, I, the, um, I started watching anime a little bit before I came here, but I had no friends that were watching anime. So it was like finding a freaking diamond. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you if you did, I didn't know of. And now that I'm here, there's so many. Not I, I went back home um, back in 2014 and pretty much everybody that that I left there that I was in contact with and stuff, they're watching anime now. They're like, dude, you watch Naruto? Dude, you watch Dragon Ball? And I'm like, um, it's like you never know until you know. I remember when Dragon Ball Budokai came out. I think that was for... What what was that? What what did Budokai came out on? I think that was PlayStation Two, at the time. I think it was PS Two that the first Budokai game came out on, and that was Dragon Ball. At that point, I didn't even know that freaking Dragon Ball was a freaking TV show anime. I didn't know that because they didn't show it on TV in Jamaica. And that was like, that was like I don't even remember what year that came out, but that was like maybe early 2000s somewhere there um when that game came out and i had no clue absolutely no clue that this was an anime i loved the game i loved the game but i never knew that it was a anime you get what i'm saying else i would have watched it else i would have watched it i didn't catch up to dragon ball dragon ball z until like when I was like maybe 19, 20 years old. So, and that was, you're talking about like a long time ago. So it's, and that was way after. I think the Dragon Ball Z was done, actually. I think it was done when I caught up to it. So I don't remember because I binge watched it. So, but that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I'm so happy that anime has become so popular 
um, because there's so much. He's talking the truth, talking about life lessons, man. Just not just for the. It's not just for the violence. It's like I would want my kids to watch it, and it's not just about um, about the fighting and the and the, and the over excitement and and stuff like that. It's about the life lessons. Like if you grow up watching Naruto. There's so many lessons to learn from it other than just the cool fighting, them being ninjas and all of this other stuff. There's so much to it. So, and I enjoy the heck, every aspect of Naruto, um, except Sakura. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't hate her. I don't hate her. I think she, she was essential to the story to a point. Um, and um, I think they didn't pay much attention to her. I don't want to talk about her right now. Um, I think... Did um I think Kishimoto just kind of like pushed her to the side too much because we grew up with these three characters in part one and then in Shippuden they were like man f Sakura they basically just kind of off screen her about a lot of stuff we knew she was she got trained by Tsunade but then whatever whatever so you guys know how it goes if you have watched the Naruto series so thank you guys for watching as always man it's your boy Terabyte reacts you heart terror squad. You're here in the building. Subscribe to the channel. I'm planning to do a lot more of these short videos, giving you guys my thoughts on them in the upcoming um, days and stuff like that. I'm going to try to do a couple of these or just dedicate a whole day to doing videos like these and not just do TV shows and anime. So, um, so yeah, got some extra time. I'll do stuff like this. So, subscribe. For more and also you can always put some links in the in the description if you want me to react other things that you want me to react to i'll try and find a time to get them done of course and thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terabyte reacts peace make sure you leave a like